Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and this is how to set up Wirecast for YouTube. Now this is just a basic setup. You can check out this video's playlist to find more advanced topics like how to green screen with Wirecast and a whole lot more. So in its most simplistic form, what you want to do, and you can, you can check the link within this video's description to find the equipment that I use. First thing you're going to want to do is click this plus sign. and then you're going to want to do video capture and then select your camera. Now I'm using a MacBook Pro so I have an integrated camera which would be fine but I've got this fancy camera that's even better quality so I'm selecting that and then I'm going to select add so now you can see me face on video but the audio unless I do this next step, is going to be coming from the webcam. And that may be fine. You may be fine with the audio from this webcam. It's really good quality. But for even better quality, what I do, I go to this gear icon here. And then I do change audio. And I select Yeti stereo microphone. So now I've got the video coming from the high quality webcam. But I've got the audio coming from what I feel is an even higher quality mic than the built-in microphone. So we've got that piece. The next thing that I recommend doing, and this is just how I like to do it for branding purposes, is click the plus sign and then do add media file. And I've got a folder I've created, it's just called live show content. These are intro and outro clips that I use for my live shows. So for Irish Guys live show, I select Irix Guys Live Show MOV and click OK or click Open. So that's going to be my intro clip. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit plus sign, add media file, and then I'm going to select the, uh, the outro, which is right here, Outro Sandy. So when I start my show, so now before we continue, what you're going to want to do is save your... Uh, just do file and then save and name it whatever. Because you're going to want to save this so when you do super show, future shows, rather, you don't have to re-enter the configuration settings. What you're going to want to do next, after you've saved it, is select Output, Output Settings. And then, for YouTube, what I select is RTMP Server. Now, when you go on the YouTube side, when you've gone in and you've selected live show within YouTube, and that interface is always changing, but when you select that, you can get the information and it'll go here. So for here, destination, just do RTMP, select OK. This address will be in your YouTube side. It'll be a URL, just like that. So you'll enter that here. And then the stream is also going to be on YouTube side. And it'll be one where you have to click like a, a see hidden code message or whatever to see it because you want to keep that private. But get that from your YouTube, paste in here. And then the final step is just selecting the quality based upon your internet connection speed. So, you know, depending upon how fast your internet is, you may be able to go higher than 720p. If it's slow, you may have to go... You may have to go lower, but there's a bunch of settings. What I use for most of my shows is 720p30, but recently I found that I can use 1080p30. So again, that's that's dependent upon your internet connection. So just select that. And obviously I did not enter this and I did not enter that because this is just a tutorial. And then I would click OK. So before you start your show, Obviously, you want to you would have your YouTube piece opened in another window, preferably if you've got dual dual monitors, it'll make it more easy, and you can just have uh, Wirecast on one monitor and then your YouTube web interface on the other. But do your um, in this case, this is my intro clip. So when I'm when I'm connect when I'm ready to connect to YouTube, I've already set it up on YouTube's end. I just click this button and I'll start streaming to YouTube. But before I click that button, what I'll do is roll my intro clip. So to roll it, you just push this right here. And you can see that's what will be showing on YouTube as soon as you click this. And then right before 
your intro clip ends. If you choose to use an intro clip, you can see the little progress bar right there. What I always do is just go ahead and select myself, and then I watch this, because this is what people are seeing that have joined your live show. So it would be live on YouTube, and then I select the clip of me face on video with my pro quality mic, and as soon as that's about to end, which is about 50% right now, you can see the little purple bar. When it's about to end, then I just push this button. And now you can see over here, you can see me. So this to the right, that represents what people are seeing on, your, on, on YouTube, people that are tuning in live. And then when you get ready to end your show, you know, thanks for watching. When you're, when you're kind of giving your closing remarks, thanks for watching. You know, tune in again. And then once you get ready to end, then hit this on your outro clip. And you can see now it's doing the outro clip. Just a good way to brand it. You know, let people, uh, let people become exposed to your channel. And then when you're ready to end, you just click this, which we didn't click for the tutorial, but you would click that and that would disconnect your Wirecast from YouTube. So that's the down and dirty how to how to wirecast to YouTube. Again, there's a lot more advanced features, stuff that I'll cover in other videos. So subscribe to my channel, check out this video's playlist, and if there's something in, in particular that you'd like to see me address within an upcoming wirecast tutorial, I'll try my best to do it. But this is these are the basics, and I hope that this helps. And if it did, feel free to support me on Patreon if you choose to do so. I've got a link within this video's description. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.